A proposed development on Grand Rapids Southwest side could mean a big change for one of the city's most recognizable buildings. The Sly Furniture Building was just, is just west of US 131. 13 on your side, Sarah Makuda explains what the developers have in mind and why some are opposed to it. Once a place where furniture was made, the Sly Building in Grand Rapids is now home to several antique stores where fancy light fixtures, books and other decor are sold. Store owners, however, worry their businesses could be in jeopardy after the city has approved plans to build a six-story building nearby. We still have not engaged by the developers or the city at all. Mark Miller is the co-owner of Loft and Found Treasures of Old and New. He says the businesses here, like his, attract visitors from Chicago and Detroit and add value to the small business community in Grand Rapids. He's created a petition to keep the Sly Building as it is. What the petition is is because we are, we've tried to engage with the city and it's so difficult right now. You know, COVID has rearranged everything. We cannot show up in a group to a meeting because there isn't one. It, um, so we have to let the city know somehow that the, that what the proposal is is not something that everybody is in support of. Jim Murray co-owns Century Antiques in the Sly Building and says the antique businesses are suited for the current building. The building is old, a lot of what we sell is old, and, and everyone looks forward to coming in here and looking around, seeing the structures. It's a, a watershed moment for, for us as a community. Let's figure out who we are and figure out what it is we want. Grand Rapids Planning Director Kristen Turkelson says the proposed plan is in its very early stages and that it is the intent of the developer to preserve the existing Sly building and convert it into ground floor retail with apartments. She says it's up to the current retail tenants and the developer, not the city, to discuss their future plan. We reached out to the developer for comment, but have not yet heard back. These are great businesses that have um, that are an asset to our community. And so we're definitely, you know, we're hopeful that they can work it out, whatever that looks like. We're also waiting for a comment from the current owner of the Sly Building. In Grand Rapids, I'm Sarah Makuda, 13 on your side.